In this video, I will talk about the 17 and a half inch rule. And there's also a 25 inch rule. And both of them are about the same. So I'm just going to focus on the 17 and a half inch rule. And it's basically a rule of thumb that people used to use to design stairs. And I'm not about to suggest you can't use it today. So what you're going to do is just simply add the height of the riser and the depth of the tread. And if that comes out to be 17 and a half inches, which is what it would be right here, then you've got a good set of stairs. Now it doesn't have to be 17 and a half inches, just as long as it's close to it. So for example, if I had a seven and a quarter inch riser or a seven and three quarter inch riser, I'm only gonna be a quarter of an inch off in my measurement unless I increase or decrease the width of the tread. And you can actually do it if you want to, if you're a firm believer in this rule. I am not, I used to be, but in reality, there are some stairways that this won't work with. Now this won't be one of them. Six and a half inches and 11 inches should provide most of you with a comfortable step. And I hate to use the word average here. People who are taller or shorter, older or younger, might have a difficult time using the 17 and a half inch rule as a standard rule of thumb to create a comfortable stairway. Here's one that it might not work as well on, where we have a four inch riser and a 13 and a half inch step, because this stairway might not work good for larger or shorter people. For example, this stairway might have a better riser height for a shorter person, but the length of the tread will be a little too long, whereas a larger person might like the length of the step, but won't like the height of the riser. And then if we shorten the step and raise the height of the riser, again, we still have 17 and a half inches here, yet we've just created a stairway where the riser height might be a little more difficult to use for shorter people. And the width of the step might be a little more difficult to use for people with larger feet. However, if we increase the depth of the steps to 11 inches, and we have an eight inch riser, we could end up with a more comfortable step, but definitely a safer step. For larger people again, someone who's gonna have a larger foot and won't have to walk up the stairway on their tiptoes. And I can provide you with a variety of different examples, but by now you should get the point. This is a general rule of thumb that will work sometimes, but it won't work all the time. 